Hello everyone, Commander Kingfish here, and uh, I am in Borderlands 2. I'm playing one of the Headhunter episodes in honor of Thanksgiving. So I am rele will release this on Thanksgiving Day coming up here in a few days. Uh, so let's uh, give admission to the show and get this thing rolling. Uh, give ticket. Where are we going? Here we go. But first, I'm interviewing the only court contestant to survive a showdown with the cobbler. Question time! How are you doing? What's your favorite color? Did you ever see that one movie about the dog playing basketball? Where did you have your first kiss? Did you ever see the sequel to the dog basketball movie where the dog went to space? And if so, which of the two do you prefer? Ooh. Awesome! Another question. How do you feel about my facial hair? Thank you! How do you feel about the ball hunters' chances to get to the ravenous bottle goblin? Will they win? Will they die? Your thoughts! You don't sound confident! Further questions! Who is the most attractive person on Pandora? <laughs> That's an awful thing to say! At least I got ten! Drags spending your definition of beauty, you chump! <laughs> no! I'm done talking to you! Your grasp on body politics is lacking at best! Oh, oh no! We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor! Talk to Torg. Oh boy. Alright. Torg, how in the hell are you, buddy? Hey! Get over here so I can whisper some things to you in secret! Okay. Real talk. The Gobbler fight is rigged. The Torg board of directors made the Gobbler unbeatable. So we need all the contestants to get us a bunch of hits on the Echo Net. But I don't want you to die, because you're cool. And oh crap, I'm not whispering anymore, my bad. You gotta get into the kitchen. Kill everybody and poison the gobbler's food. Once the poison takes effect, you can kill him. Also, I want him dead so I can eat him. He looks delicious. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I can see that this is where we've got to head to. Alright. So we've got to... Uh, Poison the Waddle Wa Gobbler. The Fry Cook. And we're back! The Bolt Hunter's in the kitchen! But today there's a new item on the menu! Murder! Bolt Hunter! Kill the chef! Oh, great. All right. Who else do we got? Where are you at? Okay. Another fry cook. All right, let's head over here. Where are y'all at? All right. There we go. Ah, oh, the butcher. No, not the butcher. All right, who? Where are y'all at? Oh, we don't want to jump that way. All right. Oh, there you are. All right. Let's try. Let's try. All right. Nice. All right. Who's left? Okay. Anton Smith here, president of the Torg Corporation. You do well to ignore Torg's instructions if you wish to stay alive. 
With the chef's dead, we can prepare our own meal for the gobbler! Get to the freezer! Okay, the freezer. That's up next, okay. Oh, uh, you know what gun we want to try out? Ah, uh, we want to try. <laughs> we want to try our new legendary, man. Alright. Uh, well, I probably should loot a little bit. Instead of just kind of running off. Come on. Get a little ammo here. does pay to uh, ignore ammo. And there was some places back here. I guess I hit all of these up. Uh, we'll take that. Grab this over here. Okay. Off. Oh, here's a couple of more places. No, we don't want that. Yeah, that is really a crappy shield. Okay, this way, I think. Loot, come on, give it to me. I love this gun. I love this gun. We do not allow contestants in the meat locker. Leave at once. We gotta choose some meat for the gobbler's meal. Turn on the tastiest looking scat corpses. This is totally gonna get me fired, and I don't care! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, I didn't want to grab that. Let's get rid of that right now. I don't want no crap guns in here. The Q drop. Okay. All right. Well. Oh man. Who's shooting at me? Come on, guys. Shields are down. All right. All right. That. Oh, don't throw grenades at me. I don't like that. Kaboom, baby. Kaboom, baby is right. Oh, 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 come on, dude. Come on. Oh, don't throw stuff at me. Where you at? All right. That's got to loot a little bit. All right. All right, come on. I need to get... I got one. All right. Oh. That was not very nice. You up there's got to go. Can we jump up? There we go. All right, where are you at? You're lucky you moved. Where are y'all at? Oh, there's more down here? Don't throw things at me. I don't like that. All right. What else we got up here? 
Uh, oh. That probably is not a good thing to get on at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Although we may end up getting on that. Okay. All right. All right, so we've opened up all of that. There's nothing there except uh, that. So we can head down this away. We don't want on that one. All right. Well, let's hit these boxes. Uh, this away maybe. Oh. I don't know what you're planning, but I don't like it. Tributes, get the vault hunter out of my kitchen. Ah. Oh crap, oh crap. I was so hot dignity. Those dudes didn't stand a chance. No. You almost feel bad for them, but then you start laughing because you were technically acting in self-defense, so screw them! Violence doesn't solve anything except for all the things it does! Okay, Torque, so we got to get up there to get that. Uh, let's see, which way do we go? Maybe through here? Yeah. Well, let's hit these lockers first. Oh, Iridium. Yep. Start replacing some of that. that uh, oh, crap. Another... Another white item. Get rid of it. I could just hang on to them and sell them, but... There we go. I get in such a habit of just grabbing loot that uh, I'm, I don't always pay attention. Yeah, see, like there it tricks you into grabbing stuff that you don't want. All right. Come on. Okay. Now to grind up the meat. Get to the kitchen. All right, back to Court, the as president. I demand to know why the hell the Vault Hunter is running around backstage. Just trying to mix things up. Your job is not to mix things up. Your job is to flex your muscles and do air guitar solos, idiot. Words can hurt! <laughs> what do we got down here? Anything? Uh, nothing really. I guess that's the way I came in. Came in. Well, we don't want that for sure. So we've got an area up here we haven't. Oh, a loot box. All right. I know that. I know that it's going to be crappy. Yeah. We don't need any of that. Any of that. So. We will take that ammo, though. Okay. Alright. Back to the kitchen. Which, what's over here? Oh, this is the kitchen. Well, what's back over here? Is this the way I came in? Oh, yeah, this, this is the way I came in.
All right. So, we need to come up here. Uh, down here. Uh, oh, uh, up. All right. Let's get a grinding. Where do we put it? Oh, right here. Okay. Grind me. Ooh. Oh, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay. Delicious. We're nearly done preparing the cobbler's meal. With the meat prepared, we only need one more ingredient. Deadly poison! Head to the stabber jabber nests. Oh god. The stabber jabber nest. Alright. Well, let's head there. And grab that. Alright. Which I think is down here. I ran out of explosives, so I'm actually going to open this door remotely without blowing it up. Sight! <laughs> of course. Nice. Alright. Let's grab that. Not that. Not that. All right, what do we got out here? Exploding, loading docks. Okay. Lots of loot. What do we got? You're following an idiot, yes? Torn created his explosive gun tech, then sold it to us for twelve dollars and a high five. We kept him on purely for PR reasons. But you both outlived your usefulness. Tribute, kill. Okay. You think so, huh? Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, that was easy enough. Kind of nice uh, being the uh, the boss for a change. Okay, we got these jabbers. All right, thanks, Torque. Hey, make sure to get a slag weapon on the way. What? Okay, find Dabber Jabber's nest. Smack the Jabber nest to wake him up. Wake up the Jabbers, okay? I have a feeling I know what I need to do. All right, now slap the Jabber. Oh God, badasses! All right, there's one. Uh, what? Oh, didn't mean the camera. You gotta slag the jabbers before you kill them. Got a what? Oh, s oh crap! I gotta slag them. Do I have any slag? Uh, I do not. Crap! All right. So, we need to... Ah, oh, damn. I think... Uh, not there. Somewhere. Alright. Torg, you're making it... Stupidly ridiculous. One of these, I think, 
somewhere down here. Uh, more loot. Here we go. All right. Let's equip it. Where to get go? Crappy pistol. Is it you? Yep, that's you. All right, two. Before the slag wears off. Where'd the other one go? All right. I wonder. All right, let's grab that. Get back here. Come on. Come it. Come and get me, boys. Come and get me. In here. Come on. Come on. So I can get a clean shot at you. Well, you're not supposed to just fly off. Where are you at? Oh, it wore off. Okay. This is a pain in the ass. How about uh, coming over here, guys? Coming over. Where'd you go? Oh, 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 come back here. Come back here. Ah. We're just going to wear them down. We've got lots of ammo. There we go, there's one. Oh, you badass. Alright, come back here. Let's get this before we lose it. Did that get him? All right, come on. All right, come back here. All right, that should, yep, there it is. All right. All right, let's uh, pick that up. And you know what? Okay. Eh, just cleaning things up for general principles here. Alright. Back to Poison the Gravy. Alright. And we don't need any ammo. We're pretty good there. Add the poison glands to the marination vat. That where's that at? Oh, that's right here. Okay. Hit that button to marinate the out of that meal. 
Is that back up there? I think that's back up. Oh, it's not that button. Oh, it's down. Alright, I missed it again. Where's the button at? Where is it at? Oh, it's over here. Right? There it is. The meal's almost ready. Let's get cooking. Start the conveyor of cookery. The conveyor of cookery? There it goes. Start the oven. Okay. That's it. You've gone off script one too many times, Torg. Today's meal is cancelled. Chefs, shut down that oven. We can't stop now. Protect the oven. I swear by my abdomen. All right, where are y'all at? Let's just throw a grenade out there for good measure. Where? Where? Are you, who's shooting at me? Alright, I'll get to that, Torg. Hang on. Oh, oh crap. Flamethrower. Alright. Let's throw another... Hey, you. It's got to go. We're... Okay. Oh. How about you? Oh, the damn camera got in the way. Alright. Where you at? Oh, hey, now that was... Dude, that was not very nice. That was just plain BS, actually. Why don't you just jump in that grinder there, buddy? Okay. All right. So we made it through that. We almost died there once. I was not expecting that, honestly. Anything? We're not going to actually... What's that? No. There's... N actually, I don't know why I'm even looking. All right. Uh, we got to go up. Back up. Where's the button at over here? Okay. My taste buds are aflame with the power of a thousand nuclear bombs. My mouth is watering so much you can drown a small village in my cheeks. The taste apocalypse is upon us. Nice. All right. Take elevators. All right. Now well, here we go. If you kill that gobbler, Torg. It'll be your last meal. The board of directors and I can guarantee that. Okay. Oh, good. We've got a machine over here. I'm about out of shotgun ammo. High quality, low prices, and no questions asked. My pleasure. Nice. Uh, and let's grab some grenades. 
A uh, little bit of pistol ammo. And that's good. All right. Let's go. You know why we made the gobbler invincible talk? So you could kill it. After dozens of failed attempts by other contestants, you were supposed to finally kill it on camera while wielding our most expensive guns. You would have looked like a hero! Why be a hero when you can eat one? You are the dumbest person in the world. Oh. I paid several other contestants to kill you if the gobbler can't, Vault Hunter. You and Torg will pay for your idiocy. Okay. Here comes the ravenous Wild Gobbler! We've replaced this creature's normal food with poison! Let's see if he notices! He took the bait! Now just don't die until the poison takes effect! Alright. All right. All right, there we go. All right, we better kill a few of these other guys first. All right. Oh, hey, now that's not nice. Oh, oh, Billy. Billy the Tribute. All right. Uh, you know, we're going to just kind of run around here a little bit. We got to make this a little... Oh, watch it with those eggs there. Fry cook. Ah, oh, he's dead. Alright, I gotta finish cleaning up a little little bit of business here. I mean we can't leave these guys. Alright. Uh I already have that skin. Okay. Let's go turn this stuff in. Iridium will take. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Grab the money. And. Plunge down the chute. Nice. Hey, Torg, 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 I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> come on, hey, buddy, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, come on. All right. Today, I am thankful for big ass monsters and the mercenaries who explode them. It almost brings a tear to your eye. But you hold back because you don't want to look like a wuss. But that's okay because real badasses cry too. Oh. My grandma, pretty big fan of yours. Did you go say hi to her? Okay. All right. Well. Grandma. <laughs> You're looking kind of rough, Grandma, but. Oh, man. It's the Vault Hunter. You are awesome. Didn't you fight Terramorphus? I fought a 
big creature like that once. He was a big whale squid with a hundred tentacles. You ever thought anything with tentacles? Oh, of course you have. Zaramorphus had tentacles, how silly of me. Now, where was I? I am so sorry. All right, the whale creature. His name was Blowhole the Apocalypse. I called him the Apocalypse for short. And he attacked my hometown of Tsunami's Edge when I was but a little girl. You ever been to Tsunami's Edge? Great town, nice beaches, great food, and the cost of living is just so low. Even being a single grandmother and working part-time at a scad meat processing factory, I was still able to provide for little Mr. Torg. We may not have been able to afford the finer things in life, like food, but we got by. <laughs> after all, Mr. Torg and I didn't have anything but one another after that horrible gas leak blew up the iridium mine killing my son and his lovely wife. Oh. From that day onward, my little Mr. Torg vowed to conquer explosions themselves in an effort to avenge his fallen parents, and... Ah, oh man, I've forgotten what I was talking about. Where was... All oh, right, the blowhole, the apocalypse! So anyway, yes, I was resting yes. the blowhole to the ground, and I have my bicep curled around his blueberry throat. Blueberry? Sorry, I meant to say blubbery. I've got blueberries on the brain, I guess. I grow them in my backyard. Mr. Torg helped me plant them. Thanks again for that grandson. I love you, Grandma! Anyway, I have my bicep around his blubbery throat, and Mr. Torg starts crying because he really likes whale squids, and he doesn't want to see me hurt one. They are the princes of the ocean! So I let the whale go after giving it a punch in the eyeball so he'll remember me, and it swam away into the ocean. And then I had Mr. Toy drive me to the ice cream parlor. He got me Rocky Road, because Rocky Road's my favorite. I'm extremely partial to the way the marshmallows act like little landmines of flavor amidst the <laughs> battleground of chocolate. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Is it pistachio? I bet it's pistachio. Oh, that reminds me! You'll never guess who I saw today! Pistachio the Amazing! Oh, he's Lord. a magician who studied under Crazy Earl, so he's got that weird mustache, you know, but I saw him make a Rakheim disappear! A whole Rakheim! I said to Mr. Torn, I said, Mr. Torn, wasn't that amazing? And he said, yes, it was, Grandma. Didn't you say that, High Five? You remember saying that? I remember, Grandma! And we stood in line afterward and got his autograph, and I thought I had it somewhere around here, but it's probably in the attic. I really ought to go up there and clean it out one of these days. I have so many little keepsakes up there. Are you... You're paying attention, right? Say, what's my favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, that would be Rocky Road, Grandma. Oh, so you are listening. How wonderful. You're an even better listener than my old pet rack, Bisto. Bisto was such a sweetie. You ever had a pet rack? If you can tame them, they are the sweetest pet you'll ever have. He used to just sit on my shoulder and bite chunks of flesh out of my neck to pass the time. I still remember the way he used to tweet. He went, tweet, tweet. <laughs> it was so cute. I had a conversation with him once. I said, Mr. Beast, though, he liked being called Mr. Beast, though. Okay. He like an aristocrat. I said, Mr. Beast, though, you're looking very cute today. And he I... said, oh, thank you. That's so nice. And he tweeted in a way that made me know that's how he felt. And then he lowered his little head like he was taking a bow. It was adorable. <laughs> Beast, though, was my third pet rack. First, I had Woody. He got hit by a train. Then I had Anita. She got shot up trying to take vengeance on the train that killed Woody. And then I okay. found Easto making little poops on the windmill outside our house. After Mr. Torg and I wrestled her to the ground, I did a flying pile driver off a nearby tower tree. Got him straight in the spine and brought him down. We brought him in and fed him some skag steaks until he decided he loved us. I still miss Beasto sometimes. He just died of old age. Oh. Okay. Right, I don't live much longer than a few years, but I treasured the time we had together. Oh, poor Mr. Torg. When Bisto died, he cried for a week. The kids made fun of him at school, but I told him not to pay them any mind. Being in touch with your emotions is not a character flaw! Okay. That's right, High Five. Is something wrong? You look confused, Vault Hunter. Oh, you probably haven't heard anyone call Mr. Torg High Five before. The world may know him as Mr. Torg, but the Flexingtons always refer to him using his middle name. It's a Flexington family <laughs> tradition, after all, to use your grandfather or grandmother's name as your own middle name. 
And my husband high five flexing and God rest his soul was the best grandfather Mr. Torg could have asked for before he passed. He taught Mr. Torg dang near everything he knew about firearms. Without high five teachings, I don't think the Torg Corporation would exist at all. Gosh, I still remember the first gun Mr. Torg tried to make after his parents died. A Jacob shotgun with a stick of dynamite attached to the barrel. Torg nearly blew his face off, but he got up, dusted his mustache off, and swore that by the time he reached the age of 11, he would make a gun that fired explosions without killing the operator. And by golly, he did! <laughs> it took a couple of dozen prototypes before he got the right combination of gun parts and explosives, right? But okay. once he did, woo-wee! <laughs> I'll never forget the plume of smoke that used to be in my neighbor's home. I'm gonna go do stuff. They were jerks, though, so it's okay. Gosh, I've been talking your ear off for some time, haven't I? It's so kind of you to listen for this long. I've taken up too much of your time already. Please, don't feel like you have to stick around any longer. As a matter of fact, take this for giving this old woman some company. Okay. Woo! A dollar. All right. I hope that's the end of the Gordon story. More attractive than Mr. Torque said you were. Can you can your patients survive grandma's second story? Oh lord, a second story? Alright. I've got another story for you, but I'd like to tell it to all of your friends at once. An old lady like me has to save her voice, you know. E start the story, we're all here. Oh, you still wanna talk with me? How incredibly sweet of you. Say you'll never guess who I saw today. Captain Scarlet! She was robbing my retirement home with a few other brigands, and I recognized her from her wanted poster, and I said, Oh, hey, you fought the Vault Hunter, didn't you? And she bowed all elegantly and said something like, Indeed, I did, madam, and said that you were really good at fighting and that you beat her fair and square. She didn't seem to harbor much of a grudge about it. Nice girl. You should think about meeting up with her again if you're not shacked up with anybody, you know? I mean, of course, you probably are. Gorgeous hunk of a vault hunter like you. I bet you're beating away suitors left and right. Look, you're blushing. Oh, I could just eat you up. <laughs> Mr. Torg was so scared of trying to get a date for such a long time. He used to go to parties in high school and just stand in the back without talking to anyone. I am an introvert! I can't uh, believe I that. I him, I said, don't worry about chasing love. If you chase your dreams, then love will follow. Sure. See, that's the thing people don't get. You watch Echo films and they're just awful. They teach you that the only way to be with someone is just to pursue them over and over until they decide they like you. In reality, you know when you like someone almost immediately. You can't really convince somebody to fall in love with you. You just look like a stalker. But if you do things that you're interested in, like making guns that explode or killing mercenaries, then people will see that confidence and skill you have, and they'll be attracted to it. Yep, that's right. There's always a right. fine line between that kind of confidence and narcissism, you know? There's nothing worse than somebody who wants to be famous. I remember when Mr. Torg first sold his weapons tech to that board of directors, he was pretty egocentric for a while. Taking pictures of himself and posting them to the Echo Net all the time. Trying to hobnob with every celebrity that used his weapons. He came back home one day with a supermodel under each arm and I said, Mr. Torg, what are you doing? You've lost sight of who you are. It's been weeks since you actually created a new gun, I said. And it was true. He'd been more obsessed with being well known for doing something great than with actually doing something great. It was a dark point in my life. Thankfully, High Five listened to me and got to work on what would eventually become the Kerblaster. You a fan of the Kerblaster? That was always my favorite. Not in the flesh. That's which the I Kerblaster's know pretty good. Play. Yep. But there's more to combat than just brute efficiency in this old lady's eyes. Style counts for something. And there's nothing quite like filling the air with tiny little explosions. It's like a fire fireworks show, except the deaths aren't as sad and unexpected. Actually, that reminds me. Now that you're here, I wanted to throw some ideas at you for feedback. I'm a playwright in my spare time. Oh and dear. I'm trying to write a story about an up-and-coming tournament fighter who tries to find love in a gladiatorial arena. And I figure you've got a lot of experience, so your feedback could really be valuable. So the play is called 
broken hearts and broken necks. Scene one, fade in on an arena just after a battle. Body parts litter the stage. A lone warrior stands in the middle of the stage. A spotlight illuminating her blood-stained arm. She's me, holding her sword triumphantly aloft. Valkyrie, is there no warrior who can challenge me? Must I be destined to spend my life as the strongest, the bravest, the most invincible warrior this galaxy has seen? For I am Valkyrie! Scourge of the gladiatorial game! Valkyrie! From stage left, enter Nodo, a janitor with a heavy heart and an even heavier conscience. He begins sweeping the body parts into a bin, which is colored green, and remember that because that's a symbolic color, come back, until melancholy overtakes him. He drops his push broom to the floor and falls to his knees before delivering a heart-wrenching soliloquy. Nodo, the blood cannot be washed away. Not before and not now, even as I attempt to escape the past, which haunts me still. Must I live forever as a fraud, sweeping up the trash of others to hide my shame and avoid my pursuers? Must I forever remain on the periphery of joyful combat, ever watchful but never participating? Then, with a clatter of armor, Valkyrie re-enters on stage left. Good morrow, lowly janitor. I heard a noise and thought it worth investigating. No doubt. Oh, great Valkyrie, twas nothing but the wails of those souls you released from their bodies tonight. Souls that wail in agony as they fly upward to Valhalla. Fools, what have they to wail about? Their agonies are over, ended at the point of my sword. Mine, however, have only yet begun, for it is lonely at the top. And an unchallenged life is a foreign one. No doubt, Poseidon. If only I were able to tell her my true identity, I would give her a fight she would not soon forget. Back to Valkyrie. Yes, ma'am, boredom is the true tragedy. May you one day find challenge in combat. Stupid, Nodon picks up a giant two-armed bastard sword with almost no effort. Valkyrie, Poseidon. What is this? What strength this janitor possessed? Who is he to pick up a bastard sword with two fingers? What hidden power does he hold? What secrets does he keep? Come on, Grandma. Come on. Get going. Oh no. The interior of the governor's house. The table is set with merry deeds and biscuits. And... Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even ask you for the feedback on the first scene. Did you like it? Uh, sure, yes. It, it was good. Yep, yeah, yes. Oh, wonderful. I'll continue then. Scene oh, God. Two. The governess enters from stage left. Governess, I refuse to respond to these absurd accusations. The husband looks at her quizzically. Governor. And what accusations may those be? Governess. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'm ready to get feedback on the play yet. But well, what about you? What are you up to? Tell Grandma Flexington all about it. I bet you've had some amazing adventures. Mr. Torg told me about the time you all played bunkers and badasses together. He said it was one of the most fun and welcoming experiences of his life. Indeed, Grandma. Indeed. Grandma! You're embarrassing me! Sorry, sweetie, but really, you Kay. and the Vault Hunters are his first real pals. It Kay. wasn't easy for Mr. Torg to make friends at school when he had facial hair at uh. age eight, pecs at eight and a half, and dead parents by age nine. Well. People found him intimidating, but I okay. told him that he should be thankful for the fact that he looks different. Anyone who Kay. wouldn't be friends with you based on appearance wouldn't be a very good friend anyway. But he really does like hanging out with all of you. Most people these days Cut. want Torg to pose for pictures or blow something up by flexing at it. It's not often he gets to sit down and play Come on, Grandma. Come on. Oh, speaking of games, did you play Going Back to the House yet? It's a new Echo no, situation about no. exploring a log cabin you live
lived in when you were a kid. There's no violence or anything. You just walk around looking at cereal boxes and remembering people you made out with. I really like where Echo Sims have gone in the past few years. Oh, Don't come on, you? Grandma. There seem to be a lot come on. more of them with interesting things to do come on. shooting people. And the writing has gotten so tight inside. For instance, did you ever play the Samurai's Marker? The whole game's uh. story was delivered through haiku. Did Zero write it or something? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I know you're too busy for that. But oh yeah, I was playing at the end of the point in Gun last night on my Echo Sim player. And wow, is that. It's about a guy who punches people and smacks himself in the face with doors. Come on, Grandma. Easily one of the best punch-related comedy sims ever. But, oh, I'm really looking forward to this game called Robot Hunter Assault Squadron, which is this big randomized survival game about throwing <sighs> bottles at trees and accidentally scaring birds. In the demo version, I scared a bird so hard it died. Ten out of ten in my book. But what kind of things do you do for fun? You play any sports? You look like you might be into some of the more extreme stuff, like spine hurdling or psycho head volleyball. I knew an athlete a lot like you when I was younger. Her name was Nijo, and she was especially gifted at the giblet toss. That's an old pastime we had back when I was younger. Nice, the giblet toss. And then see how far you could make their viscera fly across the big field. Okay. He got points based on, on. the distance and the size of the viscera. She won the final round of the giblet toss championship by getting a left eyeball to cross the 300 meter mark. They said she was juicing with iridium, but I think they were just angry that she dethroned the reigning champ, misogynistic Jeff. People really liked him for some reason. Hey, what's your favorite food? My burgers, personally. People look at you uh, like you're a pleb or something when you say you like burgers, but just think of all oh, the things you can do. Come on, Grandma. You can change out the patty, play around with the toppings, change what sauce. Come on, you come you on. A burger with veggie chips. Gosh, I all but forgot about fries for about a year after I discovered the veggie chip combo. <laughs> and I'm not a vegetarian or anything, but those veggie patties they make on the more upper class worlds are crazy good. Better than real meat if you cook it right. Mr. Tord tried to be vegetarian once after he saw a fluff bear get run over by a truck. How long do you last again? 12 seconds! Barely even finished the word vegetarian before he lunged at a skag chew. I was holding in my left hand. Nearly lost a finger. Granted, he's always been partial to skag chews or skag bacon. Don't know why, since I always felt like skags tasted like old tires and vomit. But to each his own. Taste is a funny thing. People say your taste buds get more refined as time goes on, but they actually get worse and worse. So when Mr. Torg used to refuse vegetables as a kid, it's because he was actually tasting... Are you about way. done, Grandma? Come on! When we old folks eat vegetables, we're only okay with it because we can't taste all the gross vitamins and stuff. Granted, vitamins are what have kept me going for as long as I've been going. You get enough oh. to in your system and you can head but a freight train without so much to bruise. That reminds me, I need to get my pills ready for the rest of the week. I have one of those little metal containers split into different sections for each day. It's really helpful. And the sides are sharp enough that I can use it to ward off burglars if I need to. What else do I have to do this week? Probably head to the bazaar, pick up some frozen spider and flanks. Gotta bring my coat, though, because it gets kind of chilly in the freezer section. What else do I need? Uh, oh, I need Schwartzman's candy drops. Gosh, those are delicious. They're so smooth and sweet. Just thinking about them. I could go for one right now, couldn't you? Do you think you could go find me one? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. Holy criminy. All right, where's these drop? Oh. You got in the way there, buddy. Sorry. Okay. Man. Let's go get these drops. Uh, oh. Come on, chef. Die. All right. Back to the shotgun. I get with you. Oh. Take my hands. 
Okay, alright. Back. Oh. What do we got up here? Anything? Ah. Oh. Alright. Come on, I'm just trying to pick up stuff. Alright, I think we gotta hop down and hop down here. Back out over here. The Swordsman's Candy Drop. Oh. Tribute again? Where'd you go? Oh, you, oh, you thought you were being cute, didn't you? You really did. You thought you were being cute. Okay, back down to the Swartzman's Candy Drop. We gotta... Oh, man. We're not gonna sit here and try to take them all out, but... Oh, yeah, that was that... Uh, Oh, I see it. Ow. That's a swordsman candy drop. Grab it for me, will ya? Oh, I can taste it already. Okay, Grandma, I'm working on it. Hang on. Got a few things. What? Defeat the tribute. There's one. Where's the other one? Oh. You think so, huh? You think so? Yeah, that's what you get. You're depriving Grandma of her Wartz's oh, candy no, drop. Bring it back here and I'll finish my story. Okay. Very nice, Grandma. Great. I gotta finish the story. Ugh. I had no idea this was gonna take this long. Another badass? Come on. There you go. Alright, let's get back to see Grandma. Let's see if see if we can get this story over with. I'm about out of shotgun shells. I'll have to go to the pistol. All right. Okay. Oh. Take that. All right, back to Grandma. Come on, Grandma. Let's let's get this story going. Studio of Awesome. All right, there you go. Thank you so much. I'll eat this later while sitting by the fireplace, telling Mr. Torg stories of days gone by. Oh God. There's just nothing like a good roaring fireplace, is there? Something healing and safe. Maybe that's why our family likes explosions so much. They're basically just big fireplaces. Every explosion feels just like coming home. Oh, maybe that'd be a good slogan for the Tor Corporation. Don't you think, High Five? Ah! Oh, don't be silly. It's a wonderful slogan and you know it. I used to come up with slogans for a living when I was okay. in the teens. Come on, Grandma. The jingle for Professor Gunsight's can't miss Come on. How'd it go again? Oh, oh yeah. If you try to shoot but you miss the lot, then give Professor Gunsight scope as a shot. And then they played a gunshot sound effect of someone going, ah. It was cute. But gosh, I've been talking for a while now. Really? I, thanks for bringing your friends to listen to an old woman ramble for a while. I can't tell you how great it is to have somebody new to talk to, especially a vault hunter. Oh, and one more thing. No, 
Actually, that can probably wait. Just something about vaults and the end of the universe. <laughs> anyway, here. I always spoil my friends, just like I spoil my grandson. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. We'll take it. Enjoy it. Thank you. Please tell me there's no more stories. All right. And we are done. And let's see which way out of here. Oh, back this way. Yep. All right, Torg. It's been fun and real. Not sure if it's been real fun, though. Okay. Well, there you go. There's our Thanksgiving feast for the Wobble Gobbler. And hope you all enjoyed this. We are going to be heading back to our next mission. So I'm not sure what order you'll end up seeing this. Uh, but uh, the next... Uh, our next uh, DLC is uh, Captain Scarlet, which Grandma mentioned. And with that, hit that subscribe button if you uh, like the channel. It really helps the channel out a lot. And uh, hit that thumbs up on the uh, video. It helps the video out a lot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video.